All right. And what are you, Miss Gat? Oh, you have a <laughs> negative one to strength. Oof. Um, you have no equipment on. You are a stigmatized witch. Wild. Right. So I'll keep her with her crossbow. Does she have point playing shot? That'd be really good if she does. She does. And precise shot. Wow. Okay. Yeah, sweet. Uh, so you can keep that crossbow. And where are you in the party makeup? Okay, good. Back there with Lon. Yeah, let's F5 that. We got a full party now, boys. And gals. Their life ends oh, here. no. Uh, hmm. You now, swarms die. aren't really. Can't really hit them with normal means. Did we even get hit once? No. Okay. Well, that works for me. Uh, we got a trap here to disarm. I hope you appreciate it's weird that she's better at, you know, stealth and trickery than the rogue is, but oh well. I am helpful, am I not? Oh. Um, short bow, dagger. Okay, we. Don't need that, but that leather armor is intriguing. Uh, you need some armor because you're in the front lines. But... Hide armor is considered medium? <sighs> okay. Um, it'll be good for her. What am I at? I have six with the plus one enchantment. So yeah, I'll put it on uh, Camilla. Alright. I don't need either of these in my inventory. I don't know what that just did. I'm going to reload just to see what the other hand thing will do. Excuse me. Knowledge Arcana DC twenty. I did it. It happens sometimes. Oh, oh! Clever mortals, I can't reach you from inside this circle. Oh, but you forgot something. There's nothing keeping me in here. Nothing at all. Okay. Okay. Well. We just, um, unleashed a demon. I'm sure that won't come back to bite us. I think that's the more interesting option than just dispelling the circle. So I'm going to keep it like that. I'm gone. My character is, is after all, chaotic. I've already looked through you guys. Why are you showing up as yellow? Oh, that's that uh, girl the elf was telling us about. The elf hunched up next to you is clutching a small but deep puncture wound. Her appearance is quite remarkable. Her skin is blacker than any Gorundis. Her, turth, her teeth are fanged, and her hair is as gray as a crone's. Her crimson eyes glare at you with a gleam of malice. What are you looking at, soldier? Like what you see? Uh, let's hope Sela can pass this check. Sela. Girl. This elf may have fallen victim to some Wiccan magic. A curse, maybe? Or did her long service to the forces of darkness twist her appearance in such a gruesome way? Who are you? Giving you a scrutinizing look, she says harshly, There is no point in you knowing, soldier. Trust me. The answer would only bring you misfortune, and it still wouldn't be of any use to you. I'm a wanderer. You won't ever meet me again. Who wounded you? She responds with a razor-sharp smile. Haven't you noticed? The city is burning. There's a battle going on. I was wounded by... 
a cultist. Amber is looking over her thoughtfully. Her wounds are strange, not at all like mine. They burned me from the outside, but you were burned from within, I think. It hurt, didn't it? Unperturbed by her cold silence, Amber continues. Yes, I can see that it hurt. I'm sorry it happened to you. I can heal you. With a resolute shake of her head, she barks. Don't. I can handle it myself. I don't like it when strangers cast spells on you. Good. Heal her. I can't leave you in the state. To the abyss with you! The elf tries clumsily to pull away, but the magic doesn't work, and the stab wound in her body heals quickly. Glaring at you, she mutters through clenched teeth. Thanks for everything, but the next person who uses magic on me without my permission gets an arrow to the eye. What's with your appearance? A demon's handiwork. Some shriveled spawn flew across the sky, raining corruption down upon us all. I was caught in the attack. It's fine. It'll go away soon. She shrugs nonchalantly and looks past you. I know who you are. You're Kalesa, a cultist of Descari. That's a lie. Her crimson eyes flash, and she says firmly, I loathe demons, and I kill any I come across. Okay. It's a DC 16. You have plus 10 to perception, Lon. I swear to God, if you can't roll a 6 on a D20. Thank you. She's clearly holding something back, but she doesn't appear to be lying either. Whatever it is she's hiding, her claim that she hates demons sounds quite convincing. You're not lying, but you're not telling the whole truth. What was I supposed to pour my whole heart out? She looks at you defiantly. You have your war, soldier, and I have mine. You're fighting chaos and madness, and I... I am fighting lies and hypocrisy. But we are both willing to die for our cause, aren't we? Why would Thorn slander you? Kalesa's grim expression hardens further, as bleak and unflinching as the words on a tombstone. You're asking questions that are dangerous in and of themselves. I urge you to stop. The more you know about me, the higher the chances that a traitor's dagger will find its way into your back. I believe you. Forn is at the Defender's heart. You should keep clear of that place. It was never my intention to set foot in, here, in there. Farewell, soldier, and thank you for believing me. I think I'm just going to murder some innocent girl on the boards of some weird wounded elf. Are you kidding me? Blush. She may be useful in the future. There's something here. Ooh. I have to loot, loot, loot all this beautiful stuff. I think I've, yeah, I've explored the place. Now time to go across this little ambridge. We do it my beautiful. Way. Thanks, Lan. You're so I awesome, won't let man. you hurt my friends. You tell a member. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know they have damage reduction, but I'm not gonna, like, equip different things each time I fight someone. Uh, oh, okay, it's from that way to there, that way to there. I feel like once you pass the DC once, you should be able to just this go back and forth. But, oh, no hello, big, big boy. I feel like I have too many melee people. From me. Even the huge pile of junk is enough to block out the exclamations coming from beneath it. Revel, O oh dearest darling beauty of mine! Why didst thou turn thy gaze on me, pray tell? Thy husband is a called friend a time, but love tis like an ocean. Friendship a oh well. But Willis, how are we to live, my sweet? Booms a deep... Oh. Strike that. Reverse it. But Willis, how are we to live, my sweet? Booms a deep, masculine voice from beneath the same pile. Indistinct rustling follows. Pass me the ale, will you? Hey, who's there? The pile of junk seems to shake. A strange whisper drifts up from below. Granny, let's not answer. Methinks those be demons calling down and tricking, trying to trick us. In that case, there's nothing for us to do but accept our fate. Sir, demon or not, we are actors from the finest theater in Canabras, the next door theater. We are trapped in this cellar during our rehearsal. 
Wait, what? We're trapped in here? I thought we'd barricade ourselves in here away from the demons, deliberately. If you didn't nap through the start of every rehearsal, Master Kem, you would be better informed. The ensuing exchange degenerates into a stream of unintelligible bickering. Alright, Lon, do it for me. Hell yeah. Ooh, we got Silver Ring, Jade, and... Wow, look at that! Look, the door is open, and now we are completely at the mercy of whatever's up there. If it really is a demon... We have nothing to fear. We have the power of inspiration, after all. But hand me over my ladle and that rolling pin. Oh. Now look, it's not a demon at all. Greetings, kind friend and rescuer. I am Grandma Gretlin, theater director, and these are the members of my company. Granny, is that's not a ladle, that's one of the props the mal of the Malevolent Lich performance, that one Tiana made. It's a scepter or something. She made it out of my ladle. She wanted to use a broom handle, but I paid f I, But I put paid for that daft idea, says the dwarf with dignity. Oh, I've seen your show. You're very funny. Especially your play where the woman slowly climbs onto the chair while singing and then falls off again. Ember claps her hands in delight. Well, it's actually a great tragedy about unrequited love. The chair you see, it represents a tower of rock rising up above the raging sea like the finger of a giant. And the woman, she isn't supposed to fall, but rather gracefully cascade into the swirling abyss below, just like I showed her a hundred times. But I'm glad you liked it. What were you doing down there? We were rehearsing. Our art distracts us from our fear and panic. The dwarf waves her ladle emphatically, doing a fair impression of a conductor. Really? Well, I'm scared. When I'm scared, I eat. Dude, same. Same. Hence the chubby. <laughs> we tried that too, but our supplies ran out. But art! Oh! Art is eternal. Can you get somewhere safe? Oh, don't worry on our account. We'll be going to our basement in the next street over where our lambkin is. We're not afraid of demons with lambkin around. Lambkin? Lambkin, the dwarf, said the dwarf readily. Our man lead. He'll protect us. Don't worry. We know what we're doing. Thank you again for rescuing us, stranger. Today you did a great service for Mendivian culture, and perhaps the culture of Galorian. You will certainly be remembered in the future eras as the one who saved the critically and publicly acclaimed Next Door Theater. Hell yeah, man. I saved art. Did you hear that? Please don't squat aggressively at me, honey. Oh, I don't like the... I don't like ghoul fever. I'm not a fan of that. Okay, yeah, I, I know I know I need to heal people, game, thanks. I'm down to twenty-four potions. I will fight. You crossed the Zambies. You really gonna curse me? Ugh. Well, I believe I have lesser restoration, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I want my, you know, frontline tank getting minus two to strength. That's not exactly the best thing. Um, and I think I'm gonna put. That's not what I wanted. Put him over here. His AC isn't the best right now, so I kind of want him. Not to be the first one in, you know? Oh? The city has fallen at last. How glorious. Now I can stop pretending to be a shopkeeper and spend all my time on my true passion. Reanimating the dead. Yo, bro, Sam. I'm sure they mean us no 
Okay, so I'm going to do key power extra attack and do the cultist necromancer. Oh, he does a decent amount of damage. Okay. Dude. Boy, I know you're new to the party and you don't have any armor yet because for some reason I can't find any light armor, but Jesus. Uh, master work, master work. Take that free money. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I don't have anyone who's wooden glaives. All right, buddy. What's on your mind? Everyone, How please stop. Here? Please stop getting hit so hard. I would love and appreciate that forever. Don't need guidance. I don't need that. Bless is important. Don't need this. Open your heart to me. Okay. Well, potions it is. Hopefully I can get some more in stock soon. Because I'm burning through these things. I mean, that's that part of the map explored. I've already found two quests in this area, which is kind of wild. They kind of, you know, chalk this thing full of stuff. That's yeah, just a little outcropping. Ooh, Zambos! Yo, Wolgif, can you please not be in the front lines? Endure this! Alright, bo boys, come on. There you go. The spirits demand your blood. Did you get your strength reduced again? Dude, your strength is reduced by seven? Do I have like a potion of lesser restoration? Or a scroll? It only removed some of it? Oh no. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Jesus. Poor Sela. No, oh, no, my team's gonna use that. Not yet, anyway. Oh, Ember's identifying stuff. That's excellent. So sweet it is to kill. Oh, yucky. Oh no, they're like ghouls. I thought just the necromancer was creating ghouls, but apparently the demons are well. You are today's sacrifice. Oh no. No. For some reason it was gonna take a turn to charge. Hell yeah, potion! Sorry you had to die. <laughs> I'll take your potions, though. I think I did it. The person fell free to a Nabasu. This demon sucks a very life essence. Well, <laughs> I hope you guys read it.
It was a Nabasu, I guess. I'm off. Okay. So we've explored sort of half of the map. Oh, who are you? I do what I must. Pearl. A short hooded figure is poking around some bodies lying in the middle of the street. The stranger drags the first body off the robe road, respectfully props it up against the wall, and places the corpse's hands on his chest. The figure then freezes as if hesitating, and you see him reach out his hand toward the beautiful gold amulet hanging around the corpse's neck. He jerks his hand back, hesitates, and then reaches out again. Hey, who are you, and what are you doing here? The stranger almost jumps out of his skin, and the hood falls from his head. Under a mop of red curls, a round halfling face looks up at you. Oh, phew, I thought you were demons. G good day to you, good sir. Seal's eyebrows lift in apparent surprise. Fuck, I just did like an hour of her talking. Carol, is that you? The halfling looks at Sela and smiles broadly. Oh, Lady Sela, you're alive. Goodness me, that's the second bit of good news on an otherwise lousy day. What's the first bit of good news? Yeah, kind of like a husky. Yeah, like this. This was her voice. Stick around and see for yourself. Do you know this person, Sela? Meet Rimvi, better known as Curl. He hails from Canabras and he fights the condemned. He's one of a kind, a rogue with a heart of gold. Sela smiles and adds a little more seriously. Curl, it's probably none of my business, but you'd ask yourself if what you were about to do is right. The halfling's cheeks flush and he hides his hands behind his back. I didn't. I just thought, uh, oh, it doesn't matter. Can you just tell me something, anything useful was going on in the city? I'm afraid not, good sir. It's, I just left the defender's heart. Before that, I was holed up in there, too scared to leave. Although spending all the time under Commander Erebeth's nose was sure as something. She's a strict one. Ooh, and she gets antsy. Don't even start. I've had enough of her breathing down my neck for the last a lifetime. So what are you doing here? Robbing courses? No, the halfling protests. Renvy Curl may be a rogue, but he doesn't loot corpses. I just need to get these poor lads' bodies off the road. My friends and I are on a terribly important mission, and we need to get through. He is interrupted by the sound of wheels rolling on the paving stones. A cart is drawn by sad little horse appears from around the corner. A pretty half-elf is driving it, and a young man in knight's armor is walking alongside. Even from a distance, you can see his tan face and his blue eyes shining brightly. He was just super sexy. The halfling straightens up. See? A terribly important and very heroic mission. My friends and I are saving a beer cart from the demons. Hell yeah. Get the booze. As he's speaking, the newcomer notices you and the knight cries out in jubilation. Sela, I never thought I'd see you again. I thought you were headed to the main square, the center of the demon's attack. John Aldori. Oh, that's the Sela's friend. The half-elf smiles warmly at Sela. Hey, friend. Glad to see you're all right. When we got separated in the crowd at the celebration, I knew right away that something was wrong. And when demons appeared all of a sudden, I realized that the reason why I've been so anxious... But I couldn't find you among the dead in the square, so I kept my hopes up, and I was proven right. Sela's face lights up with joy. So you're the other bit of good news Curl was talking about. You and Jana are alive! Actually, the good news I met was we found the beer cart. Sir Ellen and Jana have been amounted to a quarter of a bit of good news. Well, maybe half. A beer, for, a beer cart? How about sharing with us? I'm sure we can all use a drink. The half-elf smiles rakishly. Certainly. Give me your flask, friend, and if you walk with us to defend his heart, we'll have a more thorough sampling of the spoils there. Despite the cheerful tone, she looks at you with anxious hope. Janna, there's no need! The heart is very close, and the three of us will be enough to fight off any attack if there is one. Besides, our friend surely has better things to do. More important things than carrying barrels of beer, I'd wager. By the way, name's Elan, Sir Elan of the Hound Hearts. I'm glad to meet someone who survived this madness. You haven't told me how you know Sela. I'll have to save that story till we're back at Defender's Heart. You're going to be back there, aren't you? We have a reason to toast to our spoils. I have to go. I'm not going to out curl. I mean, come on. Boy was just, you know, he didn't do anything. He was just thinking about it. I have to go. So long. We're sure to meet again either in the city or at Defender's Heart. I mean, we constantly rob. I just took, like, eight potions from the bodies of dead uh, guards. Like, I, I don't have anywhere to talk. 
Sure you will. Come to the tavern. We'll celebrate the valiant rescue of the barrels together. Friend in need is a friend indeed. I did the quest. <laughs>